The NBA has turned into Injury Fest 2017. Seriously, there are so many players that have gotten injured in only 10 days of this season. There have been some pretty bad injuries this year. But what was the worst injury in NBA history? What is up dudes, dudettes, ballers, players, it's your boy MJ. Today I want to talk about the worst injury in NBA history. I'm first gonna mention some honorable mentions, wow that's a weird way of talking about injuries, but these injuries are just gruesome and hard to watch. Let me know what you think is the worst injury in the comments down below. Alright let's get into it. Imagine being punched so hard that your whole jaw just broke and you could taste spinal fluid that was leaking in your mouth. That's exactly what happened to Rudy Tomjanovic when he came sprinting in at full speed to try to break up a fight. Kermit Washington, feeling like someone was about to attack him, turned around and decked Tomjanovic who then lay flat on the floor. Kareem was there in that game. He said that he didn't even see the hit, but he heard it, like a melon that just got popped. Out of all the injuries, this was the most life-threatening NBA injury ever. But I'm not sure if this classifies as an NBA injury, yet this still has to be mentioned because it happened on an NBA court. That's why this is an honorable mention. Thankfully, Rudy survived and became the head coach for the Clutch Rockets that won back-to-back -back championships. As for Washington, the man pretty much lost his NBA career. Just a freak fight in the rough 70s NBA. Now this next honorable mention is an injury many of us know. When Paul George went up for a block and landed awkwardly on the hoop stanchion, his leg bent the wrong way. I didn't even know that a leg could bend that way. What makes his injury crazy is that he had a compound fracture in both his tibia and fibula. Gordon Hayward's injury for reference was a fractured tibia and a dislocated ankle. A dislocation typically isn't as bad as a fracture so Paul George's injury was way out there. But Paul George is not a man to be messed with. He came back in time to play in the NBA season after the injury happened in the summer during an exhibition game. George came back in a strong way. Still, Hayward's injury is pretty significant too. Prayers go out to him. Now the worst injury in NBA history is Sean Livingston's knee injury. Warning, this is extremely gruesome and graphic. Livingston went up for a layup, missed it, and landed in such a way that he injured everything possible in his knee. His knee just snapped. I mean it really snapped. He dislocated his left kneecap and tibiofibular joint, tore his ACL, PCL, and lateral meniscus, and sprained his MCL. Holy shoot, that's just too much going on at once. How is that even possible? You can see it in the video. His knee was just screwed. At the hospital, there was a chance that his leg had to be amputated, but luckily he didn't have to. It took him months just to be able to walk. No one thought that Livingston would come back, but he did, and he played at a high enough level to be an important contributor on a championship team. This injury is the worst because of how many actual injuries happened in that one play. That's like 20 injuries that happened at once. Tearing your ACL is a huge injury in sports, but having multiple tears, dislocations, and sprains with that, now that's a whole new level of injury. Thankfully, all of these injured players bounced back in some way and became successful in the NBA. There are so many other injuries in the NBA that were bad. If you want to see a video on that, smash that like button for 123 likes. It lets me know that you want that content. I really hope that there are less injuries moving forward in this season because any injury is unfortunate and it takes away from the team's potential. These injuries were the worst because of how much damage it actually did to their bodies. Still players push through. Which injury was the worst? Do you agree with me? Let me know in the comments down below. The Instagram shout out of the day goes to Zaz and the all day notification squad shout out goes to Noah Cub. Thanks for the all day support Cub. Make sure to hit that bell for all day notifications. And if you're not a sub, hit that subscribe button to join the all day community for more fire content and all day support. It's your boy MJ. We out.